Welcome to INN's CEO Talks. Joining me today is Kevin Brewer, the President, CEO, and Director of CMC Metals, which trades under the symbol CMB on the TSX Venture, as ZM5N on the Frankfurt, and as CMC ZF on the OTC Pink. Mr. Brewer is a registered professional geoscientist with over 30 years of progressive managerial experience in all aspects of exploration, project management, environment management, and mine engineering. CMC Metals is a Canadian-based exploration company that is engaged in the acquisition and exploration of mineral projects in and properties in Canada and the U.S. Its project portfolio includes Silver Heart Property, Blue Heaven, Rancheria, Bridal Vale, Terra Nova, Log Jam, and others. Kevin, thanks for joining me. Let's start with the latest news out of your Silver Heart Project in the Yukon. What's happening there? Well, it's, it's been a very exciting year and actually a very exciting time since 2019 on, uh, on that project. We're, we're active in what I consider to be the next major silver district in the world, in the, in the Rancheria Silver District. It's a, it's a district with uh, a mineralized belt of rocks that goes about 150 kilometers by 50 kilometers in width. We've got five properties in that belt, which includes our flagship Silver Heart property. So uh, since 2019, we've expanded the exploration footprint on that property by over a thousand percent. We uh, we flew all of our all five of our properties with SkyTem uh, last uh, last spring, and we identified eight new targets at Silver Heart at that time. We're very excited about them. We have verified them with with geocam and geology ever since, so we know they are valid drill targets. Uh, we published a resource early in the year as well, seven and a half million tons grading, grading 548 grams a ton. Now that kind of grade is very significant. It's approximately 40% greater than all silver mines globally and 140% greater than, than most silver explorers and developers in the world. So we know we're dealing with a very high grade project at, at Silver Heart and some of our other properties in that district. And we're very excited and very confident that, that our current strategy will lead to a discovery of, of not only one, but several high grade polymetallic deposits in that district. So what's next steps then? Uh, you know, you made this you know, confirmation that there is a good resource there. Where do we go from here? Do you have permitting? You got drills ready to, to mobilize to be able to move in and, and then start to, uh, you know, confirm the, that resource? Well, the one thing we have been doing is, uh, and we did it this summer, was we continued resource definition in what we call the main zone. And the other day I was, I was looking at the data and I came up with 15 uh, more targets on the main zone alone that, you know, gaps that we have in our data, you know, laterally, down dip, whatever. So we know we have continued resource definition uh, drilling to do in the main zone. Then, of course, we got these other beautiful targets uh, and I'll, I'll reference three in particular. I call them T1, T4 and what I call the hockey stick anomaly. And, and um, and those are beautiful targets. So what we want to do is instead of going direct to drilling, we've done geochem on those areas, but we want to go in and trench them first. Uh, we, we started putting in drill roads and started uncovering outcrops of mineralization late in the season. And of course we didn't have the soil data then. So we want to now go in and try to trench those areas and then pinpoint the drill targets and do some drilling on these new targets. So overall, We've got, we've easily got 10 to 15,000 meters of targets at this point. Uh, that's a lot for a small company like ours to take on, but we're going to be patient about it and uh, we'll get there. We plan to do that. Well, that is a lot that you've got going on, but then you all, what are your plans for your Silver Knife and Amy properties? 
Well, Silver Knife and Amy are, are great projects. Uh, they're on the British Columbia side. Uh, they are very close to the Silver Tip Mine and Mill complex owned by Kerr Mining. Uh, Silver Knife actually shares the western boundary of the Silver Tip Mine claims. It's uh, it's a hidden uh, deposit. It's under overburden. Uh, we plan to do gravity survey work on that. We went out to actually get a joint venture on uh, these projects this year. And the message we came back with was make those drill ready. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a gravity survey on Silver Knife. We're going to compile all the data on Amy. Where there's a huge amount of data. There's two portals in there. We've got some beautiful mineralization and trenches. We've got a huge area. We know those deposits are open again laterally and down depth. So it's easy to take that to drill ready stage. We have to improve the access, get in there, resample those trenches, reopen those adits. And then, and then make that thing drill ready as well. So that's our aim for 2022 is to make those two projects drill ready. So if that's all you were working on, you'd say that's a lot, but you've also got Bridal Vale and Terra Nova. What's going on out there in Newfoundland? Well, in Newfoundland, we, I got back to Newfoundland late in the season after, after working in Yukon and got out there and worked the, worked the ground myself a bit for a few days. And uh, we've, we've initiated a soil, soil program on Bridal Vale over three golden till sill no, soil anomalies and over the Bridal Vale showings. And if we get a kick mm -hmm. out of that, obviously we're going to do a lot more work. On, on Terra Nova, I went out with the, the two prospectors, two wonderful people, Nancy and Scott Rogers. We had a great day in the field. They showed me a wonderful range of mineralization in the granites there and shears and veins disseminated. We got to get a grip on it. Frankly, we don't have a grip on what's going on there. So we need to permit and do some trenching in there, do some trail building, have a really good look at the entire property. So that's, uh, that's what we intend to, uh, to do, uh, in, uh, 2022. So investors who are watching this right now are saying, okay, Kevin, you got a lot on the go. How are you uh, for finances? Uh, do you need to go back to the market or do you have what you need right now uh, to move through to spring uh, or maybe even to summer next year? Well, we're, we're at 10 cents. We're under, we're undervalued. Uh, we had price recommendations uh, by two analysts at 25 and 40 cents earlier on this uh, year. That was before we even started this season. So, you know, and I got us kind of penciled in at around 30, 34 cent range. Uh, we had a lot of selling uh, going on uh, due to some internal circumstances. So that's all over with, it's done. So the funds are now interested in us. So we're gonna raise a little bit of money right now. Then we're gonna market ourselves very aggressively. We're going to Mines of Money London. We're going to uh, uh, attend, uh, uh, my God, how can I forget it? Conference in uh, in Vancouver, and, right. and we've never we've never exhibited before. Uh, we didn't even have a display unit, so we're putting all that together, and we're marketing with groups like yourselves, and uh, we're going to get the word out on our story, and then if we can get ourselves up around the twenty cent range, then we'll go for a much larger raise, and if not, we're going to be patient. We'll do things like the making those drill ready projects in BC, do smaller projects that we can afford that will add significant value to the company. And we'll wait for the right time to come along if we have to. Right, and so your long-term strategy is to establish and confirm the resource and then see whether or not you can uh, uh, start to work out arrangements with a, uh, with a major. Would that be correct? That's that's true enough. With, with Silverheart, it's, uh, we want to market it as a standalone project uh, we're going to put out a new resource estimate in the first quarter of this year again, like we did last year. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to signal to the market that we're heading in the right direction and we can get there. And our, our resource definition team, Micon International, are convinced of, of, of this strategy and convinced that we can get there. And, and uh, these are very experienced people out of Toronto that were up at our site this summer looking at it. So we're we're very we're very confident that 
if we can get the right amount of drilling eventually done on Silver Heart, we can get it to PEA stage and, and market this out. Uh, with the Rancheria South projects with Silver Knife and Amy, where they're so close to a mine and a mill, we'll, we're looking to uh, try and see if we can, we can uh, go short-term development on those things and get a partner. Wow. Well, I know that the number of people who will have been watching the beginning of this interview will say, well, with a projected resource uh, that you believe to be there that will be confirmed, I want to be paying attention. So hopefully you'll come back and uh, give us an update in a few months, uh, maybe into the spring, so that we have, uh, you know, that, that, that next bit of information that will help people know even more about CMC Metals. Thank you for your time today. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I thank everybody who joined us today. Yeah. See you again.